Rocky was released on the Sega Master System in 1987. I remember the first time I saw this game was at the cousin to my neighbor's house. And he had Superman, Outrun, all sorts of different games. And I never actually played the Rocky game, but I watched him play it and I thought this was really awesome. Um, I ended up being a Nintendo owner at that time, not a Sega owner. But I always wanted the Master System, so now I finally get to play it. How the controls work are is your directional button that will uh, guide your figure back and forth and also determine which punch to execute. Button 1 will guard your face and abdomen, duck, bend from the knees. Button 2, depending on the distance between the players, is an uppercut, hook, straight on punch. The uppercut, the uppercut can only be dealt to your opponent when there is little distance between you, uh, less than an arm's length. Uh, when you're close, execute uppercut. Press button 2 alone and uppercut will occur, or press the D button up while pressing button 2 for the same result. The hook can be executed in both situations. When the distance between you and your opponent is either far or near, when you're close, press D button down while pressing button 2 for the hook. When you're far, press the D button down while pressing button 2 for the same result. The straight on punch can be used when there is substantial distance, an arm's length or more, between you and the opponent. Press D button up while pressing button 2 for the punch. When guarding, you're on the defense. You can guard your body no matter what the distance is between you and your opponent. To guard your face, press D button up while pressing button 1. To guard your abdomen, press D button down while pressing button 1. To duck, press button 1 alone. Moving back and forth depends on some conditions. If you are on the offense and attacking freely, your player will move according to the direction of your blows and can be guided to the left or right or forward or backwards with your D button. If you are on the defense, your player will not move in the direction you want until you can guard yourself effectively. And then you must start dealing blows to be in control of your footwork as mentioned above. Besides Rocky, there are three other opponents in this game. You have Apollo, Lang, and Drago. During a player game, there are two levels to experience, training and the actual match. Training is designed against each individual opponent. The actual match will be between you and Apollo first, Lang second, and finally Drago. During a two-player game, player one plays as Rocky, and player two can select from any of the other three opponents. This game requires no training. The objective in training is to qualify, which is to meet the numerical limit specified on your screen. But there are advantages to overqualifying, which will promote more sophisticated boxing. Here's why. Rocky becomes energized during training to make him a more powerful fighter. So if you beat the qualifying limit, you'll have super strength. If Rocky doesn't qualify, you'll fight the match without power. Each training session will give you a specific advantage over your opponent. Sandbag training is designed to prepare you for the match against Apollo. It is to increase your punching power and timing. When you overqualify, Rocky will have faster footwork and punching speed. The punching ball training will prepare you for laying and increase your punching speed, consistency, and power. When you overqualify, each punch will carry more power and your opponent will fall harder from every blow. This will be illustrated in the power meter, which is defined later. Punching mitts training will prepare you for Drago and increase the accuracy of your punch. You'll learn to watch the mitt and punch it as anticipated direction by moving your D button. When you overqualify, you can expect a change in the number of punches needed for a combination. From the usual jab, 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 then punch, now you're making impact with jab, jab, then punch. It's possible to skip training and start the match immediately. By pushing your D button in any direction and press button 1 or 2 when you see the screen describing the training content. But remember, if you skip training, Rocky will not be energized. There is a 1 minute interval after each round. While you're resting, half of your wasted power from the previous round will be restored. So watch for those meters, guard yourself when necessary, and go for the attack when your opponent is vulnerable. There are 15 rounds per game, 3 minutes per round and 1 minute intervals. The game clock indicated on the screen is 3 times faster than real time. A knockdown occurs if you connect with any punch when the, your opponent power meter becomes 0. Now if this happens, the player has until the count of 10 to stand before he loses the game. 
To help your player stand, press button 1 or 2 repeatedly as you watch the count on the screen. Now you've won the game if your opponent doesn't stand in time. If your opponent is knocked down three times during the same round, you will automatically win the game. If neither boxer is knocked down after the 15th round, then a winner decision will be given to, by the referees. The decision is based on total points earned by the end of the game. Each player's points will be flashed during intervals. When you've lost in one player a game, you have the option to challenge the winner again in a return match. This option will appear on the selection screen. I really did like this game. I could play this game for a very long time. Uh, my thumb was actually getting sore from hitting the button so much. I also gotta say I really like the manual for this game. Uh, it made it a lot easier to narrate this whole video because it was very clear but not too technical where it sounds like you're, you know, doing a uh, German to English translation of some sort. But otherwise, uh, I do recommend this game and it was a lot of fun and it's not actually a really expensive game to pick up. I think you can pick it up loose for probably around five dollars i think i picked mine up in the box for around eight or ten uh otherwise if you like the video subscribe hit the like button and i hope you enjoyed it thanks